Chelsea. And I'm Becky. And we're the Sorry Girls. And this is not your typical pumpkin carving video. No, it's not. Today we're showing you 10 different ways to decorate or carve or style a pumpkin. Some are really easy, some are a little bit more difficult. All are super unique and pulled from our, our brains. brains and the brains <laughs> of people on the internet because everyone is so inspiring out there. Yeah. So here is 10 different ways to decorate your pumpkin. Guys, who are we? Who are we? This is the dog Snapchat filter pumpkin. Um, it's super easy. We just took some brown foam, cut out two ears and a little mouth nose, and then used some pink cardstock to fill in the pinks of the ears. We then went over the edges with some brown marker and added the details on the nose. And then I simply took a hot glue gun and added the pieces onto a small pumpkin. Okay, so these are our Conversation Heart Pumpkins. We saw Studio DIY do something really similar and it totally inspired us, so we did our own pastel pumpkins. All you're gonna do is take some small pumpkins, go ahead and give them a coat of white paint so that your pastel comes on nice and bright. Once the white is dry, go ahead over with a pastel color. You can add white to any color you already have to make it a pastel version. And then once it's dry, just take a black Sharpie and go ahead and write on your spooky conversation cutesy little sayings on your pumpkins. It's so cute. So this little planter pumpkin is made out of a fake pumpkin. I carved it out using a knife. Be very careful when you're doing this. And it's just made of foam, so after that, took it out, filled it with some soil, added in my little succulent plant, which kind of looks like the stem of the pumpkin, and it's so cute. This guy is our funny little whimsical, like, diorama type pumpkin. It's probably one of my favorite ones we did because it's so cute. So we just created a tiny world inside of a pumpkin, basically. So go ahead and take your pumpkin, cut a hole in the middle, and then take those guts out. And once you have a hole, you can kind of create your own world, whatever you want. We used some moss as a nice little hill, and then we had these kind of fake little tombstone, little diorama pieces from the craft store that we put in there, and then we made a little moon out of some foam, painted it yellow, and then used some clear fishing wire, knotted it to a pin, and stuck that in the roof so our little moon could hang there in our fake little sky. And then to make some baby pumpkins, we just used some white modeling clay, rolled them into a ball, made some stems to stick on. Once that was dry, painted orange and green, and then you can insert that into your little Halloween world inside your pumpkin. It's so cute, I just, I just wanna visit my little world. It's very like Tim Burton-y, I feel. So this is the calligraphy pumpkin. You can kind of write whatever you'd like to on it. We took a white pumpkin and wrote Bring on the holidays. Using a copper paint pen, I wrote on the words in cursive, and the hint is kind of to do thin on the way up and then thick on the way down, and then going over the letters afterwards is the best way to do it rather than trying to do it all at the beginning. I also colored in the stem because why not? So this is our nail string art pumpkin. This is actually the most fun to do for me. I just took a picture of a crescent moon and then hammered it on in the different corners and then started filling in with the rest of the nails uh, so they're evenly spaced. And then you can rip that off. And then take some string of your choosing and start wrapping it around. And then you can just go back and forth from nail to nail, wrapping and circling around it as you go. And then you just wanna make sure that you have an outline when you're done so that you have at least some yarn that goes all the way around the outside so you can see what shape it is. All right, so this is the Flamingo Pool Floaty Pumpkin. All you're gonna do is take an orange pumpkin, paint it pink, you might need a couple coats to get it nice and good and pink, and then take some pink foam, cut out flamingo shapes, a head times two and wings times two, and then just use some paint to paint on a flamingo details, and then once you're done, you can go ahead and glue that to your pumpkin. For the head, we wrapped it around the stem of the pumpkin and we stuck a straw in the middle because it wasn't standing upright, but do whatever you have to do. And once you're done, you should have a beautiful flamingo pool floaty pumpkin. So this is the antler flower crown pumpkin and it is so cute. It would make such a good gift because it's on a faux pumpkin, so it's gonna stick around for a long time. We actually have a video where we make a whole bunch of holiday gifts and this guy is in it, so if you wanna know how to make this, click the annotation above. So these are our little donut pumpkins, so cute, I just wanna eat them. All you need is some mini pumpkins, the ones that are shorter and like stumpier are better than the tall skinny ones. All you do is paint your pumpkin a nice donut brown, and then paint the top whatever icing color you want, like a pink or a blue, and then once that's dry, paint on some sprinkles. Yum, yum, yum. 
All right, so this is a Constellation pumpkin. It seems to be a favorite here on the internet. All you need to do is take an orange pumpkin and give it a coat of black paint. We actually use spray paint because it's a lot quicker and goes on much easier. And once your pumpkin is dry, just draw on your Constellation pattern. We did the Big Dipper because it's nice and easy and recognizable. And then at every dot, you're gonna wanna make a hole. We just use a drill for this in kind of a standard drill bit size. And once that's done, we chose an even smaller drill bit size to go in and do some little stars. And once it's dark, you can light this baby up with some candles and you have a beautiful night sky constellation pumpkin. Okay, I hope you guys like those 10 different ways. Uh, like, I, uh, it's hard to pick a favorite, but they're so good. I don't have a porch big enough to put these all on, but I want to, because they're all so cute. Let us know below which one is your favorite. Um, it'll be hard to choose, but try to let us know. And if you guys come up with a super clever way to decorate a pumpkin that we didn't do, also let us know below. All right, thanks guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you love it. And if you love it, please sub it, guys. You can, like, you can sub it. That's like a thing here on, Did you know? on YouTube, Did I think. Did you know? I think it's like a red button. And then you can see our videos every week. Wait, every week? Every week, sometimes twice a week. Oh my gosh, okay. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.